state and prove Pythagoras theorem. So here we only should write the statement that is in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. So here I will take a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of other two sides. So here I took right angle triangle ABC A B C. So here in given I will write triangle ABC right angle at B triangle ABC right angle at B triangle ABC right angle at right angle triangle ABC you can write right angle at B so as right angle is at B the hypotenuse will be AC so I need to prove hypotenuse square hypotenuse is AC AC square equals hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides sum of the squares of other two sides so the other two sides are AB and BC so AC square equals AB square plus BC square so to prove this we need to do a construction construction that is draw BD perpendicular to AC draw BD perpendicular to AC so here we'll draw BD which is perpendicular to a C draw B D perpendicular to A C to prove this. Now see proof. Now here my advice is to prove this, just remember this one. See take once big triangle, then take this small triangle. Okay. This big triangle, this small triangle. Again take one more time the big triangle, the other small triangle that is because B D C. See A B C triangle a b c and this small triangle a b d but how will you name is most important see first one you are taking a b c then if you want to take this small triangle in this small triangle in this big triangle angle a is common and a i wrote in the starting so here also common angle should be in the middle and a b c i took 90 degrees in the middle so in this triangle the 90 is at d so instead of writing a b d write a d b a d b see order is most important first i took common angle okay first triangle however you want you can name it so i took a b right angle in the middle and c here a b c but second triangle the small triangle we need to name according to the first one common angle is at a in the first place 90 should come in the middle so 90 is here in the small triangle in small triangle you have 90 at D so A D B now these two triangles I will prove similar and one more case is one more time write same order like A B C A B C but now if you want to name this triangle this small triangle so see in this big triangle and in this small triangle angle C is common and angle C is at the end angle C in this order is at the end so here also it will come at the end 90 should come in the middle so D will come here D then here B 90 in the middle common angle in this big triangle and small triangle is C which is at the end here so here also it, sh it should be in the end and 90 in the middle now I'll prove these two triangles similar see if you write the order that proving is very simple angle A equals angle A angle A equals angle A which is common angle in both the triangles next angle ABC equals angle ADB reason is 90 degrees so two triangles are similar now triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB angle angle corollary or angle angle similarity now if I write the sides proportional, see you will get here like AB by AD. AB by AD. Here if I take BC by DB and AC by AB. AC by AB. Now here 
I'll equate these two sides because see these two ratios in which I have AB and AB common. So if I'll equate this AB by AD equals AC by AB. If you'll cross multiply AB into AB, AB square equals AC into AD. This is equation 1. Now here I'll prove these two triangles similar. See angle C is common. Angle C equals angle C which is nothing but common angle. In this big triangle and in this small triangle angle C is common. Next same thing order already we wrote. So ABC equals BDC which is nothing but 90 degrees. So we got two angles equal. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDC by angle angle corollary. Now sides are proportional because as triangles are similar AB by BD, BC by DC, AC by BC, AC by BC. Now see this I wrote the reason is CPST corresponding parts of like similar triangles as the sides will be proportional. Now I will take this two side this two pair BC by DC AC by BC BC into BC which is nothing but BC square AC into DC this is equation now I'll add this both the equations because AB square BC square is it? If I'll add, add equation 1 and equation 2 AB square plus BC square equals here first one is AC into AD plus here AC into DC AC into DC now here if I'll take AC common I'll be left with AD plus DC see AC if will take common AD plus DC now if you will see the diagram AD plus DC is AC so AD plus DC is AC so AC times AC is AC square so AB square plus BC square equals AC square hence proved